entrance once you in here for the tour free car park at the yellow line but once you're here you are heading to the gate M for your tour welcome to the city oh a huge stadium stand area now we are heading to gate M for the tour Premier League trophy display. Cafeteria. Waiting area. Oh, we're heading to go to see the stadium. Beautiful stadium. Oh, God. It looks beautiful. <laughs> Very similar to Arsenal. Okay. Yeah. 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 Some of the Premier League winners. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the Champions League winners. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, <laughs> my name is Ivo. Okay, I'm going to be with Elaine doing the, when doing the tour. Uh, so anything you need during the visit, let us know. There's a couple of things before I start chatting. Uh, it's really simple. Use your common sense during the stadium, okay? That this place is an absolutely maze. You're going to see it as we go. Even if you think, oh, there's a toilet over there, I'm quickly going to a toilet and I come back, most of the doors they close behind ourselves. And I'm not working till next Wednesday. Uh, so chances are that you go to a toilet, the door locks after you, and you're there waiting forever. So if you need anything, uh, let us know so we know where everyone is uh, because then security as well is checking the cameras and if they see you there lost then it, it, it takes forever because security takes you to a place sometimes even police have to come there's no need if you need anything during the tour let us know okay uh, we have a policy of not eating drinking or chewing gum normal common sense okay uh, but that's the most important anything you need ask me and you can take as many pictures as you want everywhere uh, even if you are in a family or you come on your own or whatever if you want me to take a picture or a link we're more than happy to do it so whatever you need during the visit uh, we are more than happy uh, is there any english people here yeah, yeah. <laughs> well congratulations no that they qualify for the final enjoy it till sunday because i'm spanish so, <laughs> we'll see each other on sunday, so, so you can enjoy it till sunday uh, nah, it's a joke uh, i can see a lot of manchester city shirts who is a supporter of manchester city yeah any other teams? And I'm getting blind on that over there. Any other teams? 
<laughs> United, I guess, no? Uh, Arsenal. Arsenal, okay. Any other football teams? Barcelona. Barcelona. Perfect. I'm Spanish, so it's fine. <laughs> what? Newcastle. Newcastle. Newcastle, that's great. That's great. Everyone is welcome here. It doesn't matter how bad your taste is. We welcome <laughs> everyone. So don't worry about, about that, okay? Um, so I'm going to tell you a couple of things about the stadium first, and then you can ask me all the questions you want. Uh, if the question you think is really, really difficult, Ask Elaine, uh, she has all the answers, and, and if, it's a, if it's a good question, it's because I have the answer, okay? That's, that's the main one, okay? So this stadium was built for the Commonwealth Games, okay, uh, in 2002, and it was really different than you see it today, because it has the athletic track around, uh, and as you can see, there's no room for the athletic track. The reason is, is that the athletic track and the old stadium, it was above your heads, okay? Uh, so when you see all that black line, that's ground level, do you notice that we are coming downstairs? Mm -hmm. So that's where the old stadium was. When they decided to make it for a football, what they wanted is the supporters to be really close to the, to the action, not like the West, the West and United, not that they are really far out. They wanted people to be as close as possible to the action. So what they decided to do is to dig down, uh, and they took all this, uh, all this uh, level, like six meters down, uh, and they created all these new tiers. So as you can see, we are below ground level at the moment, uh, and that's why the stadium, uh, it looks bigger in the inside. That's my Doctor Who joke, that nobody ever laughed, it's still there, that it looks bigger in the, but I keep pushing for it, no? Uh, it looks bigger in the inside, the, the stadium. And, and that's the, the main thing that, the, that we have this. Where you are sat down now, this is the south stand, and it has a different thing. As you can see, they have this barrier, okay? This is for safe standing. Uh, they want to pass the law and they trial last season in a few in a few rounds. And and the the reason is that you can stay here standing up and watching football and there's there's no problem. There, there wouldn't be any any trouble. Okay. Uh, and if you come from to be to see Newcastle or to see United or to see Arsenal, you will be on that area. Okay. So it's that corner over there. There's three tiers and that's where the away fans are are usually uh, standing. What Manchester City has decided is that they surrounded with the loudest fans of City, so they cancel the noise, uh, okay, that's the main thing. <laughs> For me that I'm Spanish, it's the best place to learn English, because there's a lot of colorful language, <laughs> <laughs> it's usually a good, a good place to learn English, okay? And as you see over there, uh, above, there's like a grey box, do you see it above the door, 212, 211, there's a grey box. That's the commentators, Sky, BT, they, they do their, their show from there, okay, usually. Uh, that's where the, all the experts are usually, if you watch it on TV, uh, you notice the quotes, no, on experts, <laughs> they are usually, they are usually the commentators. Uh, and around, it's all the executive boxes, it's for sponsors and people, but there's uh, some of the players have one, okay? So some of the players like to bring their family, and that's where they usually, we don't give them to the players, uh, the box, they have to pay for it, but I think we can agree that it, yeah, it's not a big problem, no, with a footballer <laughs> salary. Uh, but that's the, the main reason, at the end you have, uh, on the back ones, is Haaland and Kevin De Bruyne's family, that's why sometimes if you see them scoring a goal, that they run and they are looking up, that you are like, who are they looking? It's because they know where the family is, so they like to celebrate. Actually, Pep's family is on that side. I will tell you because we will be down there, but when he says hello, hello, that's why as well, if you notice every time that they score a goal, Pep's as well turn around and he's celebrating with his family, okay? And then if you see the TV over there, next to the TV, there's like a Puma uh, box mm -hmm. over there. That's something that, well, personally, I feel really proud that we have it. It's called the sensory room. So if any family has a member on the spectrum or they cannot cope with all the big noises, on that room is soundproof, uh, everything is soft, the, the floor, the walls and everything, so they can still enjoy football in a safe space, okay? So it's something that they put a lot of effort here, that football should be for everyone, and that's why this stadium is the one with most disabled spots in the whole Premier League. Uh, which that's something that they really put an, an effort on, on what I say, that, that football is for everyone. And right opposite to you, that's where the expansion is going to be, the, the big expansion of the stadium. We're going to take 8,000 seats more over there. Uh, it's been approved, the plan. So it will take another tier, but not like here, three tiers. They will make a big wall uh, on that side. Kind of like Tottenham has it. Spurs have like a big wall on one side. That's why they are going to do that. And they are going to take a mark of 60,000. That's why um, UEFA asked to host the final of the Champions League. Uh, and that's the next step for City, not only winning the Champions League, but we want to win it here. So once that, that is complete, it will be there. That, expa that expansion 
is 300 million pounds uh, expansion and it will be a hotel inside it's an absolutely brilliant place that is going to take uh, more or less 1200 more jobs in here so it's, it's quite a big thing as well for the city uh, everything that goes around so that's what we're going to do we're going to walk inside i'm going to tell you a couple of things that maybe you don't think about when you watch the match and we're going to see a bit of behind the scenes around the stadium uh, anyone has any questions for me well, if you have any questions during the visit, just let me just let me know. Uh, so we're going to first we're going to walk. I'm going to show you one of the nicest hospitality rooms where the players arrive, and I want to show you a, a couple of things. Take some pictures. Many pictures. Going to the main players area. Driver Actual Lounge, VIPs. For the players, dinner, lunch. It looks like a like a really nice restaurant or, or an airport lounge, no? Um, so this is the Tiny Club ground. And you think this is nice? Downstairs is the premium, it's even nicer, okay? So if you come to the football, uh, to watch football here, you will come before the game and you will have like 12, uh, 11, sorry, 11 courses, one for player, one for each player. It will be like tapas style food. You will have your drinks, you will have everything that is happening. If you're downstairs, you will have a five course meal with your private waiter uh, and all drinks included. Two hours before the game, two hours during the game and two hours after the game. So it's a night to remember that most of the people can't remember, no, after all that, after all that, that drinks. But the most important, what I bring you here, the most important, apart that it's nice and it's seeing all this, is what happens there, outside, okay? 90 minutes before the game, it will come a big coach from the academy. The academy is across the road, okay? That's where the players usually are training. That's where they stay before the game. They only come here when it's a game. Uh, so they will go, they will get all the players together and the coach will stop outside there, you know? And we will unroll here a VIP carpet. Anyone guess the color? Ah, oh, okay. I was going to say it with him. Uh, uh, so we will unroll a VIP carpet, and everyone that is here, you could be here seeing really some Bowden, and you could high five to them before the game. So because they will come over here and they will go to the dressing room. So we give them like heroes, no? They are. Uh, we give them that extra boost. Do you think that when United, Arsenal, when Newcastle is playing here, do you think we do the same for them? Do you want to receive them like heroes? Not the chance. Okay. <laughs> so if you look uh, farther, uh, there's a hedge. Farther away, there's a road, and if we call it the service uh, road, and it goes down the tunnel, and we don't park there next to the supporters. We park there next to the bins. Uh, so they have to get out of the next to the bins. We take them through a corridor. They pass through the kitchens, uh, so they can smell all the nuts for fun. So come behind me, try to stay here, because you are going to be, these are the millionaires, you are more millionaires because you are the players, obviously. Uh, so we're going to get all the football teams, so get your hands ready. Imagine you are here, and who is your favorite player? We have Phil Bowden over here. Yo! John Phillips! Yo! We have the first color of the night. Yo! Gym area before the game, after the game. Okay, of England. Come on, come on, English people. You know who is your best one, the biggest, the, the greatest? 
Spice Girls, come on! <laughs> the Spice Girls was there. And actually, a lady was working here with the Spice Girls were. And he went to the Spice Girls and asked her, can we paint it pink? And you know what she said to them? She said, well, if that's what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> no. Very good. Very good. Very good job. Well, I told you, this is the gym. And as I told you, this is mostly a news. Because usually, this Very nice. Very nice. No, it's nice. Uh, the main thing that when, when you come here is it's a different shape. No, it's a round one. This was Pep's input. He had it on Bayern Munich and he was there here as well, a round one. Reason is that I can see every single one of you. No, if you notice, there's no corners, there's no places to hide. And the design, it goes as far as imagine. I know you don't know each other, but imagine that you are not happy with her today. She's not been passing you the ball and you don't want to talk to her. So you will open here, no? <laughs> well, the designs go there, so you are forced to talk to her. This is a team, no? Everyone should be, should be in together, okay? So that's the main, the main reason. Um, and the other point. Uh, actually, Simpans has his mom handwriting with his name. You know, when we are kids that we lose them, uh, so that's why they, they put it. So check an, uh, keep an eye when he jumps on the ground. He's going to play the game. He always do a small dance and things. They are really superstitious, and well, that's one of the one of the things that I can I can tell you. And then there's a small difference here compared to the away team or other other places. Uh, on the apart from the toilet and the showers, this is like an ice bath, okay? And next to it is a jacuzzi. So the players are expected to go between two and five minutes to get that ice bath after the game, and they go to the jacuzzi. The reason is. That is as important as fitness is recovery. You know? They are playing today and they are playing then uh, uh, almost in a couple of days. So it's really, it's really fast the recovery. And that's why it happens. If you are playing again, then this is how to work. You can do better. You need to take the next step. And there's no better place to be in the next step here. Let's start strong and let's fight. I love it. There's only one rule when you go there, please don't go on the grass, okay? That's the easiest way for me to lose my job, okay? So don't go on the grass, please. Uh, so are we ready? Are we ready, captains? There we go, let's go, dear. There you go. Come on, city. Come on, city. Come on, city. We can all go. <laughs>
thing is turf, it's artificial, but you see that it changes over there. And then it's 95% natural, 5% plastic. Uh, so how it's called, it's called seasgrass. So what they do before, they plant 27,000 miles of nylon, okay, under, and then they seed the pitch. So then when the roots of the, of the grass, it will tangle around the plastic, and that's how they will grow, okay? They will be together. So then if you go for a taco, it will never fly off because it's tight thanks to the, thanks to the plastic, okay? It's called seas grass, uh, and it's quite, quite a thing. It's supposed to last for five to 10 years, the, the football ground. But you see, we had concerts in summer and it looks absolutely perfect, no? Like yeah. a carpet. <clears throat> and then a couple of things. If you notice, and here it's really obvious, it's not flat. Uh, there's a small canvas in the yeah. middle. Yeah. The reason is that when it rains, and this is Manchester, this is August, this is summer. It is Manchester, it really rains a lot. So when it rains, if it rains a lot, it will come down. It will never create any puddles. Actually, it's permeable. So we collect all the rain, and that's the water we use to water the pitch after, okay? So it's recyclable. And the other thing, and I think you could, you could see it, he was doing it now. We use a natural pesticide um, to get away from all the bugs and everything that it will grow. And he was sprinkling garlic. Uh, we sprinkle garlic, so then with the garlic you don't get any bugs or any insects in, in here, okay? Uh, you can't get any vampires either. Uh, that's, the main, that's the main thing. But yeah, that's the, that's the, the grass and the, the different thing. Any other question, anyone? Okay, so take your pictures and we go into the press conference room, okay? Uh, Media room? Yeah, two of you can sit down, the rest just stay around. Captain's up there. You as well. And if the rest of you can sit down on the back rows, uh, that would be brilliant, okay? Yeah. Season. I will check the season, but there's 1,500 people employed. Okay, uh, it takes them as well on much roll days, so it's a it's a lot of uh, jobs here. If anyone if anyone is interested, keep an eye. And here on this uh, serving beer, one I think Elena and I we can agree is a legend of Manchester City. He started his career here serving food. Anyone guess? It was me. That was me. When I was a student, I was there serving, serving food. My English was terrible, so that's what I was doing. I, it didn't matter. They were asking whatever, I would give a bite. And everyone was happy to be fair. Uh, so yeah, with the count of three, can we scream, come on city? Oh, all the energy as loud as you can, okay? One, two, three. Last end of the tour, Manchester City, beautiful stadium, such a good tour, I enjoy my tour, see you soon.